Hi, I'm Echo. This video is going to give you a brief introduction to Kunkka. Kunkka is a hero that can be played a few different ways, but this video will cover the strengths and weaknesses of support Kunkka. Kunkka is one of my favorite heroes because of how dynamic his spells are. X, Torrent, and Ghost Ship are all spells that have multiple functions. For example, Torrent is a nuke attached to an AoE stun, but it also grants vision that you can use to X enemy heroes that would otherwise be in fog. He doesn't just have a set role like Crystal Maiden, who has a very specific playstyle every game. You can get creative with your spell combos, especially when you start factoring in variables such as mobility items. I think that Kunkka is criminally underrated, but recently has gotten a bit of attention by pro teams. Overall, I think he's best suited as a roaming support that transitions into a strong pickoff hero in the mid and late game, using mobility items and X marks to spot to set up kills for his team. Since he has a lot of AoE CC and the rumba from Ghost Ship, he's naturally a good teamfighter and scales quite well compared to other supports. Back to Paul. Kunkka is a fairly well-rounded hero, but he has some areas where he really shines, and others where he suffers. In my opinion, Kunkka's greatest strength is his ability to catch enemy heroes out. At max level, X marks the spot has a huge range of 1000 units, in addition to a short cooldown of 8 seconds. Lightning X allows you to set up easy torrents for yourself, or set up an allied player spell such as Light Strike Array. All of Kunkka's spells have ranges of over 1000 units. Because all of Kunkka's spells have long range, he can do his job while being out of the effective ranges of most other heroes. He's also item independent. He can do his job with just arcane boots, though aether lens, blink dagger, and other utility items are all very useful. X marks the spot has amazing utility outside of just being a setup spell. You can use it to ward and deward places that wouldn't be safe otherwise. You can X teammates TPing home to save them some time. You can X yourself and TP home to refill your teammates' bottles. You can X yourself and TP home in order to pick up crucial items. There's so much you can do with just this spell. Kunkka also has a pretty high base strength and strength gain, so he's naturally a bit harder to kill than other supports due to his higher HP pool. This is especially true if he's able to cast Ghost Ship in a fight, as the percent damage reduction from Rum is more effective when a hero has a higher HP pool. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the cons of Kunkka, some of his weaknesses are pretty big, and they're majorly why he hasn't been picked often in pro games, though he is seeing a little bit of playtime as of late. One of the biggest challenges of picking Kunkka is deciding which lane to put him in. It's hard to decide where you want to put a melee support hero that can gank very well before levels 3 to 5. He doesn't contribute much to the safe lane outside of being able to augment already strong laners with X and Torrent. He's not particularly good at going with an aggressive dual offlane strategy, since he has a limited mana pool and needs a couple of levels before he can really start fighting well. If he doesn't snowball, Kunkka is not much of a damage threat. You only have to worry about his ability to control heroes with his X and CC. That being said, he's almost completely worthless against BKB buyers, with his only salvation being that he can still carry items like Force Staff and Mech to help his teammates. Since Torrent has a 1.6 second delay, and Boat has a 3 second travel time, he's not a great reactionary defensive support, because his spells need to be cast ahead of time in order to save people in clutch situations. Kunkka's spells have very high mana costs relative to his small mana pool. His intelligence gain is among the lowest in Dota, so with no mana items, he can only cast one side of his spells before running out of mana. Kunkka really needs high damage heroes on his team in order for him to shine as a pickoff or setup hero. If the team has low damage or the cores are underfarmed, it can be tricky to make use of his great catch. It doesn't matter if he can catch heroes if he and his team don't have the damage to get frags. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. If you're interested in learning more about how to play support Kunkka, you should watch the following videos that we'll be releasing in the future. 
Please leave any comments or questions you have below, and I'll make sure to reply as soon as I can. See you next time.